Our new sponsor at NGSC Sports is Cool Eye Cover, and as you can imagine, we are talking sunglasses. The perfect time for our sponsor is summer, as we all need those sunglasses. Our sponsor even has a great deal as an NGSC Sports partner. If you email esgmarketingsolutions at gmail.com, they will give you a 50% discount on your first pair of sunglasses. Visit www.cooleyecover.com and choose your glasses to receive the discount and email esgmarketingsolutions at gmail.com for the discount coupon. We thank Cool Eye Cover for joining NGSC Sports as our new sponsor. This show is sponsored by Alicia's Pillows and Things. Check out the Facebook page, Alicia's Pillows and Things, where you will find home decor you will not be able to resist at prices anybody can afford. Check out the pillows and stools of your favorite sports teams. Maybe you want a set of your kid's favorite cartoon or movie character. You can also get full body and neck pillows as well. Log on to NGSCSports.com and go to the Alicia's Pillows and Things tab on the homepage to complete your order. It makes a great gift for Christmas at an affordable price. NGSC Sports. We never stop. You're listening to NGSC Sports Radio. Hear us live on NGSCSports.com, where you can get awesome analysis for all things sport. Or check out our podcasts on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, iTunes, TuneIn, and much more. For our latest videos, head to NGSC Sports' YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at NGSC Sports and like us on Facebook. NGSC Sports. We never stop. because I don't want anybody to have like tried to jack up the audio really loudly and then get startled by me actually talking in my normal voice which we're getting closer to and closer to and closer to all right there we go this is what I have to do when my is in here I guess <laughs> oh man hey everybody welcome to episode 274 of the foreign affair podcast the ASMR edition, apparently. I don't know. I was screwing around with my microphone earlier, and I started just, I was eating chips, and as I was eating chips, I put my headphones on, and I was like, ooh, ooh, that sounds like ASMR. I might try to do some more later. JK, JK, everybody, JK. Um, so yeah, welcome to the podcast. I'm Edward Green, not joined as always by McCollum Crime West Bradshaw. Um, he'll be back later for Anfield Corner. First Anfield Corner of the season because the season starts in like two days. It's crazy. Um, he'll also be talking, I guess, about the uh, Community Shield that was this weekend, which is definitely a trophy and definitely not a trophy. As they took on Manchester City in a game that Manchester City would eventually win on penalties. Um, of course, it is also almost transfer deadline day. Uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday night, um, Eastern Standard Time, so we're really close to that. A lot of crazy crap has gone down already. I'm sure, a lot more crazy crap will happen tomorrow. It'll be, it'll be a time. 
So we're going to, I'll talk a little bit about that. Do you have news and notes? Of course we're going to talk about, of course we're going to do news and notes. And then we'll have the, the watch four as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Wes will, Wes will kick it old school with Anfield Corner at the end. So as always, though, the podcast is presented by NGSC Sports. At NGSCSports.com, we never stop. As well as Alicia's Pills and Things. Hey, it's, it's Premier League season, baby. What more do you want? Get yourself a pillow. Or an auto man cover of uh, your favorite Premier League team. I think she might be able to do that. I can't see why not. I mean, you can also get other sporting type things and cartoon type things as well. But it's Premier League season. Get your Premier League one and get it at Alicia's Pills and Things. You can check out all her great stuff on Facebook as well as uh, some good deals on NGSC Sports. Also, um, I'm going to pull this up here so I don't like completely butcher it. Um, hey, it's summer, it's still summer, it's pretty hot here and where we're recording this podcast, and, uh, we've had some thunderstorms the last couple days in the, in the afternoon, but don't let that dissuade you from realizing that the sun is incredibly bright and could threaten to pop out literally at any time. That's why you need to visit coollightcover.com. Absolutely. You need to, uh, you need to get... Um, your, hey, men's sunglasses, 60% off. I'm, I'm reading that literally right now. You can, you can do that. They, they, they have them. They exist. So go check them out. Um, with, with brands like Aofly, Guzz Tag, hope I pronounced right, King Seven, and Vaith, Vaithdia. You can find all that and more at coolicover.com. Let's go check them out. Um, and lastly, hey, hey, listen, 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 buddy. We need to have a talk. You, um, you still haven't gotten your Roku TV yet, have you? You haven't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because if you did, you'd already know what I'm going to tell you. Because you'd already be in it. But you don't. So go get your Roku TV, plug it in to your TV, and then get on the Ultimate Sports Channel. They have free sports program. What more do you want besides free? All of the other sponsors we've done trying to sell you something. No, this is free. It's free real estate. Get on that. It's free sports programming. Uh, you can find them on ESGSportsGroup.com, as well as on their uh, their Twitter and other social medias by Nasha Sports. So, uh, again, check them out. It's the Ultimate Sports Channel. It's going to be a fun one, folks, with Orients. I'm not even that loopy. It's crazy. ASMR does weird things to me, apparently. All right, let's get into it. Um, hey, hey, Community Shield happened. Did you know that? I knew that. So, let's talk a little Community Shield. Community Shield 2019. Um, so, as I mentioned, it was between Manchester City and Liverpool. Manchester City getting in through winning the Premier League and also winning the FA Cup. That's super awesome. But, uh, as, as those are the two that would normally fight for it, so they had to be like, well, I guess we need somebody else to play since they can't really play themselves. Oh, that would actually be kind of awesome. They should have done that instead. No disrespect to Liverpool. No disrespect. Um, but that would have been kind of cool. To actually see, like, just City playing, like, 11 City versus 11 City. They can do it. Their roster is big. Who, who we got? Okay. Okay. Sorry, we're taking a quick detour here for a second. Let's go to, let's go to, man, let's go to Manchester City's roster right now. Um, squad. Okay. So, you have, you have two keepers. You, you throw Ederson on one. We're not, we're not dealing with Daniel Grimshaw. Um, wait, oh, wow. Oh boy, um, you got Claudio Bravo on one side and uh, Ederson on the other. Um, Joe Kyle Walker on one side. You could have thrown Danilo on the other side. He's not there anymore. We'll get back to that later. Um, you have you have enough. Uh, yeah, you could do this. Oh, you could totally do this. Yeah, they brought in Rodri. You could do this. You put Aguero on one side, uh, Jesus on the other. Sane is still there as of now. Throw him on one side, and De Bruyne on the other. You split up the um, uh, what's their names? 
The Silvas? You split the Silvas up? Can't can't have that those two together. Split them up. Got Benjamin Mendy on one side. Put uh, Fernandinho on the other. Dude. Dude. It's free. That's free, F.A. That's free! It's not what they did, though. They, um... They absolutely did <laughs> what they've always done. And it's fine. It was a great game. Look, look. I'm, I'm being, I'm being very faced just there. It was, it was a great game. Let's, let's get that behind us. All right. Uh, City did strike first in the twelfth minute, thanks to Rah uh, Raheem Sterling, who, hey, they're not playing at Anfield, so he's definitely okay to go against Liverpool. Um, but hey, Joel Matip, he scored in the seventy seventh minute to tie things up. Uh, Liverpool pressed hard at the end, could not find a winner in regulation, so they went to penalties. And unfortunately for Liverpool, Gigi Wanaldum was not able to connect uh, with the back of the net on his penalty. So Liverpool fell 5-4 in penalties to City. Um, again, I'm sure Wes will talk more about that at uh, Anfield Corner. So that's but that's that. That's the Community Shield. Um, hey, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, or, no, we didn't mention it earlier. We'll be mentioning it later. Uh, Super Cup also happening. That is also happening. Um, that is going to be between Liverpool and Chelsea. And I'm trying to find just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. Thank you, UEFA Super Cup. Um, so, again, that will be between Liverpool, who won the Champions League, and Chelsea, who won the Europa League. That will be, I believe, a week from today. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're saying? Oh, uh, yeah, a week from today, August 14th. And that one night in Istanbul. So that'll that'll be going there. And then, obviously, we'll have to talk about that later. Because uh, that's in the news and notes a little bit. But, again, so Liverpool will get their second crack at a trophy this season. Trophy. And air quotes a little bit. Because we said they want we said City won a treble last year, but really they kind of won a quadra because they won the Community Shield anyway. Anyway, so Community Shield happened. Wes will have more to talk about it later. Um, yes, we also did talk last week that we would be doing our uh, our preview this week of the Premier League season. We will not be. We are going to do the very bold thing of waiting one week to see how things shake out a little bit, and then we'll make our picks. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? For years, the Premier League, and, and hey, every other league in Europe still does it. Their transfer window doesn't close when the season starts. Why should we have to give our predictions before the transfer window closes? Yes, the Premier League does now close before the season starts. So I'm going to move a point there. But the point still stands. We just, I don't think we're doing it because we didn't, you know, we're not together tonight. We're back tonight. We'll be back uh, next week together. We can do it then. So, do look out for that next week. Uh, we'll definitely be doing a season preview next week. Uh, we do have matches, though, to talk about. Because there are matches this weekend. It's back. It's absolutely back. Wait a minute, what? What is this story? What? What? Who? What? Who? Um. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, sure. Whatever. I'm sorry. I just, I was gonna pull the scores up, and just saw an absolutely insane story that can't possibly be true. So we'll just leave that alone. Um. All right. So it's back. Gotta do it. Your schedule for this weekend. Uh, starts on Friday, Friday Night Football on NBC Sports, 3 p.m. Uh, Liverpool host Norwich. Uh, that could be a fun one. Um, newly promoted Norwich, uh, back up from a couple seasons back in the championship. Uh, also, real quick plug, because we love them, The Athletic. God, we I really should spot responsible for them. Uh, Michael Cox did a great write-up along with uh, one of his athletic mates. Um, about the three newly promoted teams. The Athletic has completely gone all in on Premier League coverage. It's great. Really, go check it out, folks. The Athletic is amazing. Um, but they did a great preview on, on Norwich as well as Villa. And oh, who's the one I'm forgetting? Oh, no. Oh, Sheffield. Sheffield. 
So you can go check that out. Again, it's amazing. Um, anyway, Friday, 3 p.m., Liverpool versus Norwich. Saturday, Premier League champions are back. Uh, looking to make another run to 100. We'll see. Uh, 7.30, Manchester City will be heading to the London Stadium to take on West Ham. At 10 a.m., you get Crystal Palace, Everton, Watford versus Brighton, Burnley versus Southampton, and Bournemouth versus Sheffield United. And then at 12.30, it's Tottenham versus Aston Villa, the first stadium opener at the new Tottenham Stadium. So, so naming rights TBD. Uh, and then on Sunday at 9 a.m., you get Leicester versus Wolves at the KP. That is, oh boy. Man, you know what? Also at 9 a.m., you get Newcastle versus Arsenal. And at 11.30, uh, you get United versus Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, United versus Chelsea, that's great. Leicester Wolves could be amazing. This is this is a great matchup to actually start. This is phenomenal. Oh, that's really good. That's a really good doubleheader. Leicester City versus Wolves. That's going to be a fun one. So there you go. And then, yeah, Manchester United and Chelsea later. Um, so that's awesome. So there you go. And then we have to look at the table. I'm just kidding. No, we're not because our son is at the top. Oh, no. no, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, everybody's in alphabetical order, so I guess technically at the bottom of your heart, the relegation zone, it's Watford, West Ham, and Wolves. Hey. So, any hoozles. Uh, that will start this, again this Friday and goes through this weekend. And, um, yeah, so some big, big matches already out the gate um, as we start another Premier League season. Um, so, that's our match talk. Uh, news and notes uh, again transfers going nuts um, we have uh, uh, Jao Cancelo moving from Juventus to Man City and a deal uh, that was a lot of money from City and then also Danilo who just never really worked out at City uh, he'll be heading back to Juventus uh, in, in Cancelo's place uh, Welbs <laughs> Watford's Welbs team now he's going uh, from Arsenal to there on free uh, do, 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 what else? What else, what are the other big ones? Um, uh, Harry Maguire, that deal officially did get done. So he's moving from Leicester to United for 87 million. Um, Pedro Nito is moving from Lazio to Wolves. That's real fucking Nito actually. Um, do we have any, I mean, surely we have more. Surely. But, um, hey, maybe, maybe actually... Just uh, don't feel like doing it. Um, well, I'm on transfermarket.com. Um, and, uh, yeah. So there, there's some other big ones, of course, uh, that might be happening. Tottenham, of course, have been linked to about 18 different people. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, who, who's the other big moves here? Um... Um, I don't know, actually, there's that much at the moment. Um, yeah, we did all of Arsenal stuff already. Um, yeah, um, uh, Wolves got somebody, didn't they? Maybe I'm crazy. I might actually be crazy. I think I, I think we did Patrick Kutron last week, um, but maybe not. So, yeah, no, there's there's some big. Uh, Moise Keane did officially go to Everton. I think we did that one last week. Yeah, we did that one last week too. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that that's that's pretty much it. Um, we'll see if anything else comes down the pipe. Obviously, there'll be plenty more to come tomorrow when the transfer deadline happens. And I'm sure Wes will give his two cents on the transfer market as well in Anfield Corner. Um, other news and notes, though. Wayne Rooney is going to Derby County to be a player coach in January. He will be leaving DC United to go pursue his managerial dreams. Um, Derby of the hotbed of, of getting former players their coaching start. They just had Frank Lampard, who's moved on to Chelsea. Had a pretty good stint there, and now it'll be uh, Rooney's turn. Um, very, very interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, he doesn't have his coaching badge yet, which is interesting. 
Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's a player coach. It's so weird. It's a really weird story. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, um, so yeah, I guess he's going to play for, you know, Rams chairman Mel Morris insisted the England engine would quote first and foremost be joining the club as a player. Uh, okay. I mean, he's 33. And he's to me he's doing okay for United, but DC United I should say, but eh. very interesting, very weird story, but there it is. Uh, on to the Super Cup. Um, mentioned already it was going to be taking place next week between Chelsea and Liverpool. It will be making a little bit of history as Stephanie Frepart will be the first female referee at the UEFA Super Cup. Um, it'll be the, uh, the first time a woman has been the head referee at a major UEFA, uh, men's competition. So that's pretty awesome. And it's going to be a, uh, a majority female staff. Um, Fravart also did the, uh, the women's world cup final this year. So very, very good referee. Um, so we'll, we'll see. She'll be, uh, according to the story from, uh, UEFA, she'll be accompanied by Manuela Nicolis, Nicolosi of France and Michelle O'Neill from Ireland. Um, and they'll be the assistant referees. And, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I hope they do a good job. Um, this, this is a good one. I get, I hate to say test out female referees, but Hey, it, it's not going to matter too much. I mean, it's just the super cup. Meh. So Hopefully nobody is too much of a dick about this. But, yeah, this is awesome. Good for them. And uh, we'll see if they can um, maybe um, in get integrated a little bit more. So, we'll see. But good good for Frappart and her comrades there. Um, and finally, more, more women's soccer news. We've been doing a lot of women's soccer news lately. It's big. It's big. It's getting big. Um, hey, this is an article from AwfulAnnouncing.com. The FA is launching a free streaming service that will air all England women's Super League games across the world. Um, so this is going to be, again, by the FA. It's a free service. Um, it will be uh, all 132 women's Super League games and broadcast around the world. Um, and it also have uh, little, little stories on the England's women's national team. Um, nine of the 12 teams in the Women's Super League are Premier League teams on the men's side, including all of the big six sides. Arsenal won the league last season. So, hey, that's pretty awesome. There's also news that the Premier League uh, might take over the Super League, um, which I guess getting them under one roof might be good. And then that just, you know, that money just goes in and helps to grow that even more. I don't know. This is, uh, so this is a good deal. So... All of a sudden, you know, the women's game is getting a lot of good pub. So that's awesome. I, I know there was a, there was a weird pause there, and it's like, well, what was he gonna say? And I don't, I'm just thinking you know, of Carlos Cordero over at U.S. Soccer, still playing hardball with the U.S. WNT. I just. He's going to look really stupid if this keeps going. But, hey, hey, good good for the women in a playing in the Super League in England. That's awesome. Uh, more exposure for them. Uh, obviously, with it being free, it's a great deal. Um, I'll, I'll be interested to see how it does. Um, obviously, the NWSL also got the, uh, the TV deal with uh, ESPN to do the rest of their season. So, we'll see how that goes. Hey, this is this is this is looking really good. So, if this works, can't say the women's game doesn't make money anymore. So, good good for them for uh, for using the springboard of another good women's run at the World Cup to springboard some of that um, uh, exposure to getting them uh, on their their club teams as well. So that's that's pretty awesome. Good job, FA. You did a good thing for once. So that is the news and notes. Uh, I think now I'm going to hit the watch for. Are we watching the week that was the week that will be? Um, what are we watching? What are we watching? Um, I'm trying to think. 
Not not a whole lot. Um, I watched an episode of House a couple uh, a couple days ago, just kind of out of the blue. I was just surfing through, and I just was like, oh yeah, I haven't watched this show in a while. Um, so I watched an episode of that. That um, parts of that show have not aged well. Not at all. It is um, you you can't probably make that show today. So I still like you, Lori though. He's cool. So so that's I think what I'm watching. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, I really need to get on Archer. I re- I really need to get on that. So uh, yeah, that's that's about it though for the watch four. Oh, which means we're now at the part of the program where we hit Anfield Corner, and I hand the reins this meandering podcast over to Wes Bradshaw. So Wes, my friend, please take it away. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's edition of Anfield Corner. That's right, Anfield Corner is back, as are the Reds. I'm Wes Bradshaw, and um, you know, unfortunately this is the week that the Premier League kicks off, and unfortunately it was a work week, so Ed and I are not able to give you the full-on pod that we know you love and deserve. Uh, so I know he's already told you, but next week we're going to give you our full Premier League preview. We'll do all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it'll just be one match in. So uh, we'll have some we'll have some uh, insight on what's going on, and also all these uh, Premier League transfers will be over because holy crap! As I'm driving home this morning, it is uh, well, let's say it's about 7 a.m. East Coast time. The British uh, Premier League transfer window is absolutely going haywire this morning arsenal arsenal of all people are making signings where's this arsenal who had no money and suddenly in the last two weeks are signing like everybody unfortunately for them one of them is david louise so oh jesus get ready for that arsenal fans that's going to be interesting a uh, a back two of scadron mustafi and david louise oh i can hardly wait uh, Kieran Tierney coming in though that could uh, that could be a good sign and going forward for Arsenal uh, could definitely sort out one of those full bat positions. Uh, elsewhere, is Paulo Dybala going to Tottenham? Like three hours ago, he was, and now suddenly, apparently, the deal's off. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, why all of a sudden would Juventus be like, oh no, we want to keep him. Nope, don't want to sell him. So wait a damn minute. You've been trying to sell him to everybody who'll buy him all summer. Suddenly, nope, don't want to sell him. Whatever. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Apparently, Coutinho has turned out a potential loan move to Tottenham. I don't know. Tottenham's suddenly all in the news with everybody. Um, Lo Celso is apparently having a medical as we speak once again 7 a.m on the east coast um so still time there uh for liverpool uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna sign anyone we signed adrian this week as uh, the simone minule um the minule era officially came to an end as he has gone to Club Bruges for, I believe, £7 million. I think we made a couple million off that, so uh, good on us. Um, yeah, so like we said, transfer market's just, it's going strong. Jao Cancelo went to City. Um, Chelsea, still not signing anybody because they're Chelsea. Uh, Lukaku looks to be on his way out of England. Uh, is Mandzukic coming back? I don't know, folks. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. The full preview next week. We can't do a preview without knowing who everybody's gonna have. So that's gonna be important to know. And next week we can give you a much more full view of everything. Um, now, one thing that what, that looked like it could possibly happen would have been a huge transfer. But now it looks like it's not going to happen is Leroy Sané uh, heading to Bayern Munich. And the big reason for that, well, the uh, Community Shield, Charity Shield, 
so it's old school ones, God, it's community shield, it's fun, um, was contested this past Sunday between Liverpool and Man City, and Leroy Sané apparently has an ACL injury coming out of it, may miss the entire season for Manchester City, which on two fronts, either A, V, well, we were going to sell them and get a boatload of money for them, uh, so they're not going to get that now. Or the, man, he's Leroy Sané and somehow Pep doesn't want to play him. But when he does play, he's one of the absolute best players in the Premier League. So they're losing out on both ends on that, our city. So that's um, that's a blow for Manchester City. Yeah, you got to find a chink in the armor somewhere and that could be it. Um, so Sané, but that does take us to the Community Shield where Liverpool kind of officially opened their season with Man City. Uh, 1-1 after regulation. They go to penalties. City wins 5-4 on penalties. They lift the community, you know, the community shield. Oh, man, good on them. Oh, excuse me, folks. It was a long night. Um, uh, for Liverpool, first half, they were – Lethargic. They were not looking very good, but the second half especially, they were the best team. I believe if you go on the um, whole match, look it up, Liverpool were the better team overall. They got their equalizer in about the 71st minute, I believe, uh, off the head of Joel Matip, of course. You know, why not? Uh, Mo Salah was fantastic the whole match. Just uh, some of the finishing wasn't there. Looked like he was going to win it late on for Liverpool. That looping header off the uh, deflection uh, where Kyle Walker made maybe the greatest play of his career. Of course, it was in a match that really didn't matter that much, but that's Kyle Walker for you. Uh, his acrobatic goal line clearance. Liverpool had two goal line balls. That seems to be the... Um, that seems to be their theme recently playing City is balls getting nearly over and being cleared at the last second. So, uh, anyway, uh, Jurgen Klopp was very impressed with his bunch, so especially that second half where Liverpool really dominated proceedings. Um, Sadio Mane did not play in that match. City didn't have all of their guys either. But Mane is such an important difference maker for Liverpool. Um, it, it gives you optimism if you're Liverpool going forward that, you know what, we didn't go and splash the cash this summer. And the reason we didn't is because we didn't have to. That's the thing. They're killing me. People are killing me with that. You know, why, as Liverpool, should I have to splash all this cash when, you know, why do I need to? I've got players. I've got a great team out there. There's no need to have to splash the cash. So, um, I'll tell you, that's really about all I've got this morning. Uh, season starts this week. Liverpool Norwich on Friday. That's going to be the one uh, for the for the Reds as um, they open up. This will be 30 years since winning the their last English title, and uh, they're going to try to do it. That's all you can do, man. Try to win it. So, uh, onward to glory, you mighty, mighty Reds. Next week, we'll talk... I believe they play the... uh, They play next week against Chelsea. They do. So, next week, not only will we recap that first week of the Premier League, we'll give you our season preview. Liverpool play Chelsea in the Super Cup next Wednesday, so we'll have that for you. It's going to be a huge episode next week, folks. Just enjoy it. Um, And I hope we give you a little bit of insight this week. This has been Anfield Corner. I'll catch you guys uh, on down the road. Premier League's back, baby! Thanks so much for that, Wes. And we will get super, super in-depth in the Premier League when we are back together next week. Uh, And we will give our top six predictions as well as our bottom four, as we like to do every year. Um, We'll also, of course, be recapping this transfer window, see what happens. Again, in the next well, less than 24 hours from now. Um, I'm sure there will be a lot to go over one way or another. Um, that is going to do it for this episode of the A Foreign Affair Podcast. Again, big thanks to NGSC Sports, Alicia's Pillows and Things, Cool Eye Cover, and the Ultimate Sports Channel. Um, you can find all of them on social media. We're also on the social. You can find us on Twitter at AFAPod. 
That's our collective account. Uh, you can also find us at, at Wes Bradshaw 21 and at Edward Green. That's me. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube via our parent show, the All New Sports Show. And you can email us, allnewsportsshow at gmail.com. Uh, thanks to all our podcast providers, including Podbean.com, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, the TuneIn Radio app, Google Play Music, and the iTunes Music Store. Um, so once again, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here on episode 274 of the Foreign Affair podcast. Like I said, we'll be back next week to recap week one of the latest edition of the Premier League and give our thoughts on the transfer window and predictions for the upcoming season. So for everyone uh, here at the Foreign Affair podcast, please stay safe and enjoy the football. We'll catch you guys next week. Our new sponsor at NGSC Sports is Cool Eye Cover, and as you can imagine, we are talking sunglasses. The perfect time for our sponsor is summer, as we all need those sunglasses. Our sponsor even has a great deal as an NGSC Sports partner. If you email esgmarketingsolutions at gmail.com, they will give you a 50% discount on your first pair of sunglasses. Visit www.cooleyecover.com and choose your glasses to receive the discount and email esgmarketingsolutions at gmail.com for the discount coupon. We thank Cool Eye Cover for joining NGSC Sports as our new sponsor. This show is sponsored by Alicia's Pillows and Things. Check out the Facebook page, Alicia's Pillows and Things where you will find home decor you will not be able to resist at prices anybody can afford. Check out the pillows and stools of your favorite sports teams. Maybe you want a set of your kid's favorite cartoon or movie character. You can also get full body and neck pillows as well. Log on to NGSCSports.com and go to the Alicia's Pillows and Things tab on the homepage to complete your order. It makes a great gift for Christmas at an affordable price. NGSC Sports. We never stop. You're listening to NGSC Sports Radio. Hear us live on NGSCSports.com where you can get awesome analysis for all things sport. Or check out our podcasts on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, iTunes, TuneIn, and much more. For our latest videos, head to NGSC Sports YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at NGSC Sports and like us on Facebook. NGSC Sports. We never stop.